Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Stand by D. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And D's away. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to the m &W Miles Middle School Morning News for April 8, 2016. Our broadcast is coming to you from our studios on the second floor of the middle school. If you wish to participate in one of these broadcasts, please talk to your teacher about what you need to do to participate. Ninth grade class. There will be a meeting for the ninth grade adversary club next Tuesday at the school in room 113. We will be discussing the end of the year ninth grade dance and fundraisers. The ninth grade class will also be hosting a car wash on Saturday, April 30th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Amityville High School. Five dollars per wash. See Mr. Zyre for details. National Junior Honor Society. All National Junior Honor Society applications are due to Ms. Wong seen today. No exceptions. The National Junior Honor Society went to meet the Make-A-Wish children that our school helped raise money for on Wednesday night. The families were very appreciative of our efforts. Edmund W. Miles came in third place in Suffolk County. Thank you again to everyone who supported such an important cause. Literacy Night. Little Street Night Poetry Slam will be on Thursday, May 5th. Mark your calendars. More information on this night will be released. GSA Meeting. The Love for All GSA is sponsoring the National Day of Silence Friday, April 15th. After testing, come to 206 to get your participation tag. The goal is to remain silent to say our gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender family and friends that we hear you and support you right to go to school that says bullying must stop. Love for all GSA meeting April 11th from 206. Library news. Can you rap? Mrs. Cesaro is looking for students to perform rap at Poetry Slam on May 5th. Please let your English teacher know that you are interested or speak to Mrs. Cesaro in the library. Today is a great day to have a, today is a, great day to have a really great day. Poetry Slam. Who can? You can. We're gonna have a poetry slam on Literacy Night. Ramen and stealing all up into the night. Making beautiful scenes with the spoken word. Shooting off stanzas like you never heard. Poetry slam. Who can? You can. Ain't no need to worry if it doesn't rhyme. Just speak from the heart every single time. Gonna rock this joint like Langston Hughes. Breaking down barriers, silence the fools. Poetry slam. Who can? You can. Gonna bring down the house like Robert Frost. Two roads diverge, don't get lost. Raise the roof like Edgar Allan Poe. Always good to read when you're feeling low. Poetry slam. Who can? You can. So get to literacy night, put on your big boy pants. Time to show the world your words can dance. Poetry slam. Woo. Who can? You can. Yeah! April is Keep America Beautiful Month. In April, the nation's largest annual community involvement project, the Great American Cleanup, sponsored by Keep American Beautiful organization, gathers millions of volunteers together to pick up litter, restore playgrounds, plant trees, and participate in community beautifying activities. Businesses, schools, neighborhood groups, and local governments offer programs and activities about shared common resources, individual responsibility, and preservation. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. That a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now. 
I am what I've always wanted to be. What are you doing? Well, you see, every day I always see this one kid getting bullied and shoved and pushed into lockers and has to stop. So what I'm going to do is put a note into the bully box and see if that will stop it. But I don't want to tell a teacher, it's all like a tattletale. Oh, that's a good idea. I know it's hard to report any type of bullying, but this is our school and we have to make it a better place. If you see something, you don't have to say anything. All you have to do is write down what you saw, and then put it in the box. It's that easy. It's anonymous. No one's going to know it's you. And then a teacher is going to solve the problem. You could have just helped that one kid who always got bullied, who never wanted to come to school, who never felt safe being in school. This is our school and we can make, make it a better place. I am Justin, and this is the weekend weather. Let's see what we have in store for today. Um, Friday, a.m. shower, mostly cloudy, high of 50. Saturday, mix of snow and rain, high of 43. And Sunday, but chilly, high of 42. Have a great weekend. If you wish to have a birthday announced in this segment, fill out the sheet on Mr. Weber's door, room 207, and give it to him by Wednesday morning. The birthdays for this week are DeAndre Irving, Elena Kokoglu, Kevin Bustila Rosales, Rosa Saravia, Jonathan Gambella, Nashika Moody, Darielle Duarte Espinal, Christina Reed, Tamia Lawhorn, Taylor Lawhorn, Joshua Snyder, and Isabella Carey. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> really, Jordan? Every day, thousands of students are silenced. They are silenced by fear. They are silenced for being who they are. They are friends. They are classmates. They are brothers, they are sisters. They are gay, they are straight, they are you, they are me. They are silenced by anti-lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender bullying and harassment. Their silence will be heard around the country. Hundreds of thousands of students will participate in the National Day of Silence. Whoever they are, whatever their backgrounds or beliefs, these students will take action because they believe that the bullying and harassment must end. What are you going to do? to end the silence.